I'm Yoon Kim, and I am standing in the Republican National Convention, where only 15 minutes away is Cleveland's only dungeon, where its headmistress told me that business has been doing very well recently. Let's go check it out. I'm Tara Incognita. This is the Red Door Dungeon here in Cleveland, Ohio. Tara, can you tell us about this place? We are a full-service PDSM dungeon. We are the only professional dungeon. How has business been for you this week during the Republican National Convention? Business has been different the weeks leading up to the convention. We had a lot of national shootings, turmoil, political upheavals going on. BDSM is a stress release. While you are engaging in the act of giving up full control to someone else. You're so in the moment that your world becomes very narrow and it's just me and you and the sensations that you're experiencing. You know, we get a similar sort of thing about holidays, for instance, anything that's typically a stressful time. Starting last weekend, we've had all of the the actual people coming into town setting up and and people on both sides of the aisle. We have the Republicans coming in, we have people who are in town as dissenters, media, and people that are just sort of neutral and here for their jobs. What specific kinks are uh, these folks asking for? Gosh, we had someone who likes to be ridden like a horse. <laughs> Member of the media, actually, Fox News pundit, and who likes to be sat on and he sort of crawls around and pretends he's a pony. He wants to be a horse. Does a person's party affiliation or political affiliation kind of indicate what they might ask for? No, not at all. People tend to act out kinks, oftentimes that are kind of related to their jobs. People with medical jobs will sometimes have a medical fetish. They have a podiatrist who likes to wear ladies' shoes. So what do politicians ask for? What's the political kink? <laughs> Well, there's been a lot of um, just sort of your general over-the-knee spanking, corporal punishment, cock and ball torture, pulling, spitting, face slapping, golden showers, uh, which is the act of urinating on someone. And again, it's not just among politicians, but right. I would say politicians tend to be older gentlemen and powerful gentlemen. And amongst that demographic as a whole, I tend to see that a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because in their day-to-day -day life, they are never humiliated. No one would ever call them a name or, or do anything to embarrass them. Once people are naked, they're not worried about red or blue or elephants or donkeys. They're just trying to have fun. I can't say, you know, those kinky Republicans or <laughs> those kinky Democrats. It's been like equal opportunity kink. I would much prefer to be a cat, personally. To each his own. <laughs> Meow. Summer, and then it gets really, really dark during the winter. This country needed a festival during the summertime. It's this weird feeling because you also kind of lose the concept of time. 